All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How all live is doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, so I am doing a little bit of image separating right now. So I'm separating images, kind of resizing them to where they can fit into the game and I can give them to my uh, developer. So I'm going to be doing quite a lot of that actually, because I have to make like little placeholder panels and sh stuff like that. But uh, as of right now, uh, Q and A time. So I have six questions and we'll also be, you know, fully talking about these questions that you guys have. And this will also show who will be active in the community of my channel, my YouTube channel, or active in the community of my game. So it let me know like people who I can actually ask, what would they prefer? Things like that. It, it lets me know that I'm building a community with, you know, people who are actually interested in Monster Girl Utopia or actually interested in the content that I actually create. So, yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the first question. The first question is from SHN. Shin? Is that, is that how you're going with that name or is it just SHN? I'm not sure. But his first question is, not sure what type of channel this is. Are you going to do Let's Plays of other MMOs or just Grand Fantasia? Um, at the moment, it's just Grand Fantasia. Um, I did used to do a lot of MMOs back then. I kind of stopped because MMOs started to die off majorly. And I started around like when MMOs were like really popular and, you know, was going up left and right because MMOs aren't easy to make. They are extremely difficult to make and maintain players. I will say that because most MMOs don't think about the fun part. They always think about difficulty, uh, multiplayer, you know, they always think about raids. You have to play with other people. You're forcing people to play with other people, but most people are solo, but enjoy the social aspect of an MMO. So it ends up being like one of those things where you can't just, you know, solo progress and, you know, play with other people. But um, other MMOs, the only one that actually comes to mind whenever it's released is um, the MMO that League of Legends is playing or oh, making the Riot that Riot is making. It is the League of Legends MMO. Uh, we don't know too many details of whenever that's going to be released or the progress from what I know. I haven't really looked it up ever since, really. So I have to look into some details of that. But I'm mostly interested in that if I was actually going to do like another like MMO playthrough. But at the moment, at the moment, Grand Fantasia has always been like my main bread and butter for MMOs just because it's it's fun. It is fun. It's just the official servers open your wallet. <laughs> open your wallet right now. We don't have any other way for you to get, you know, certain rewards or anything. We don't have like playtime rewards. We don't have like these cool events to where, hey, you can exchange these things for killing these enemies inside of this dungeon or exchange this for killing certain enemies or exchange this for just playing the game you know getting coins in it and doing exchange events exchange events keep games fresh with players because they have an incentive to get on and you know grind instead of just sitting in the plaza you know talking to people you can actually go out and grind and exchange those rewards for you know but it's a little expensive rewards and now and then they're not really all that generous anyway that's just the official server for you for grand Fantasia. but the private servers have been a lot of fun and I, and I've actually been enjoying myself. Uh, the next question that you had was which one do I like better memories or Violet? I have not played enough Violet to actually come up with an opinion of that. But at the moment, Violet has the solo player incentive with the whole, you know, chatting with each other and not having to, you know, force yourself to group up at the moment i'm not really sure if they increase difficulty or anything yet so at the moment it is fun because there are you know different talents 
And those talents are actually really interesting because you don't have to, you don't have it locked behind requirements of holding a staff or using one hammer or stuff like that. They actually have like unique talents, which talents are passives. I mean, those passives are like extremely interesting. So far, I haven't seen them change like the way abilities work yet. But I am playing Druid. I am still like early in the game. So we're going to see how that goes. But Memories is actually trying new things that I haven't seen on really any other server. They actually took, you know, the idea of making pets usable and actually giving them abilities and, you know, made them sort of companions that you can use, which is actually fantastic because that's a War Kingdoms like, you know, way of doing it as well. And it's actually been very fun. But you also got to remember that that uh, Memories, Reputation Memories, has a more play together type of situation to where, you know, you have to group up with people and actually like, you know, enjoy that aspect of it. So if you enjoy grouping with people, Memories, if you love soloing and well, I can't really say soloing yet because, like I said, I'm still in the early games of Violet. So we'll just see where that goes. And I'll, you know, give my opinion inside of the video to where I'll be telling you guys which private servers are, you know, will be best for you to join. You know, I'm not going to be like, ah, this is the best private server overall. Or, you know, something like that. It's going to be what I would recommend for certain players to get into. So, yeah. But that's it. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Good old spell, Zan. Appreciate you for uh, commenting. Uh, her first question is, what made you decide to become a streamer? As, mm, well, a lot of things I actually thought about was mostly branching out from YouTube because I did, you, I've done YouTube for like seven, six or seven years now. So, I decided to like maybe I should branch out, you know, and you know, expand my brand a little bit. But it was mostly because I like streaming my memories and I like, you know, just having a way to as unfiltered. I don't have to edit anything. People just get my full experience so I will never miss anything. It's also easy to do because you could just start it up, have it on the screen. And I don't have to edit it. <laughs> it is just an easy startup. I don't have to do an intro. I can just say hi, guys, and just get on into it. And it, it live interact with all of you. It was another way to like live interact with like all of my viewers as well. That's mainly what it came down to. And thankfully, Twitch changed their whole dual streaming rule to where you can dual stream again, because that was another reason why, you know, I actually want to do that because I can branch out to like Twitch and YouTube, you know, get people interested in my content. That was how that was supposed to go. <laughs> and the second question was, what made you decide to make your own game? So the reason I wanted to make Monster Girl Utopia is because there hasn't really been an emphasis on Monster Girl Creature Collectors. And I kind of wanted to do that as well, because Monster Girls have always been like a, like a curious little topic to get into. People love Monster Girls and honestly, people love Pokemon. So I wanted to do my own like creature collector and I've been wanting to just, just like make my own game for like years now. And I was just like. You know, if there's any other time that I should do it, it is now why I'm still capable of it. <laughs> but I'm not going to end it anytime soon. I actually do want to see this fully through to the end. And I'm going to enjoy every last second of it. I mean, I've done YouTube for six or seven years now, and I'm at still at 2,000 subs. And it's just like, if I didn't give up YouTube, what... what what problem would I even have doing like this whole project? Honestly, but I guess the main thing that made me want to do it is just 
a childhood dream that I need to fulfill. <laughs> I feel like I want to fulfill and actually enjoy. Plus, there's so many new developers that are going on that are just about money now, and it's just sickening at this point. Like, Michael Jack's transactions inside of single player games. I mean, I understand DLCs, but Michael Jack's transactions got to stop. And it's just like so much, so many corruptions going on right now. It's, it's insane. Like, if I'm going to do a DLC, I'm at least going to give you guys like, at least 10 skins for like 10 bucks you know at least you would get the most out of it instead of getting like one skin or two skins for 10 bucks like i i always hated that it was like if you're gonna give me skins they shouldn't cost like an arm and a leg for just fucking one or two i i want to like you know put emphasis on that and change that at least and you know make it at least worth people's while or time as a um it's just the gaming community is pretty corrupt right now. So, it, you know, adding on another person who can try and change that over time is something I want to do. So, yeah. All right. The next question is from Neon Ni. Nee. So, first question is Will there eventually be holiday theming? I'm guessing you're talking about Monster Girl Utopia. And yes, I have actually a lot of holiday plannings going on to where I want a calendar in the game to where I can like, you know, have the whole classic, hey, this date right here is going to be a solar eclipse and it'll be like a solar eclipse monster girl or multiple monster girls that you can catch during, you know, like a solar eclipse timing inside of that day. Or I can have like a, hey, here comes a blue noon, moon night. Go to a dungeon while there is a blue moon going on. You can catch this monster girl there. You know, I want to do things like that. And I want it to be like, uh, here comes like St. Patrick's Day. And there's going to be like a dungeon that exclusively opens up on St. Patrick's Day. If you're that far in a game. And... Here's leprechauns and other stuff like that. I have a lot of plans for a holiday themes. And it's going to be multiple monster girls that are under that hol holiday theme. Or maybe they'll be found inside of just normal dungeons that you can just go in on that day. It's going to be interesting to make those ideas come to life come to life but you know we should we shall see how that all goes your last question was a little bit odd to me because i never looked up any of my ships or vessels before what is your favorite world war ii vessel well neville vessel personally i find the hsm arc royal and the k's ms Tripsy, cool. Okay, I have to look up my naval vessels here because I'm not, I'm not very naval vessel knowledge, knowledgeable. Hold on, hold on. I got, I got to see these. Oh, these. Okay. What's the one with the jets on them? I think I found it. It is the USS America. The um, LHA-6. The only reason I like those those ships is just because it, it was actually cool to like see those jets like launching off of that ship. That's why I always like to look at those. I was say I, I was trying to think to myself, naval vessels. I was saying it's been. I, I haven't even looked at these. Then I had thought about it. I was just like, oh, this is what you're talking about. OK, I remember like as a kid, I used to always like look at so many ships and stuff like that. But mines were more like pirate ships. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Like back then, I was like a huge. Well. I can't even say back then. I'm still am a huge Pirates of the Caribbean fan to where more of like pirate ships were like my thing. But, you know, naval vessels were actually 
go into that as well. I'm not a sea person. I don't have like sea legs and that concerns me of going out in the sea too. <laughs> you wouldn't expect somebody who'd be interested in like pirate ships to be also afraid of the ocean. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say that's that's really like something I, I don't ever thought I never thought I would actually be ever asked, <laughs> which is interesting. I say that's actually kind of funny. But anywho, that is all the questions that I have. Uh, hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this little Q&A. Not only that, I hope you guys enjoyed me like, you know, at least separating all of my images, getting all that ready. All of them are officially separated. Well, the ones I have now are officially set or separated in the inside of their own respecting folders. So that is actually some good things that I had to get done sooner or later. And I'm happy that was now. Now I have to make actual like panels for them for like the HP and stuff like that, which I will do another day. As of right now, I need to go to bed. <laughs> good night.